Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 6. So, let's continue where we left off. We are still at war with China. And it will take at least a few more turns before we actually conquer the city. But that's okay, we are getting some really nice experience from this. So I don't mind at all. And the bomber. We got a few more targets. Let's see, we could just attack the city, I suppose. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, 29 damage to the city, that's pretty good. Alright, production in Novgorod. Let's have a look. What do we want? Oh yeah, we have to repair some stuff. Alright, no problem. Also, where exactly is the general right now? Because we could probably use him elsewhere. That's a lot of units on this list. It's a little bit too big. I see the admiral. But where's the general? I'm not seeing the general. Where the heck is he? Military engineer, spies, trader. He has to be somewhere around here. Alright, I guess not. The game really needs a proper military overview badly and a list of units that you can actually sort by type, for example. Well, there's the writer and the musicians, but where the heck is the general? Alright, never mind. I don't remember where exactly he was. I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, he's right here. Where the heck was he on the list? I don't even see him on the list right now. Where is he on the list? Oh, there he is. I thought this was an admiral. Because this looks like an admiral icon, not a general. Really? Seriously? This is an admiral icon. That's really odd. Yeah, see? That's an admiral icon, not a general icon. That has to be a bug. Well, add that to the very long list of bugs in the game. Not that this one is a huge one, it's not, but seriously, that's the wrong icon. Anyway, production. Let's have a look. What did we just finish? Artillery. Alright, we could just continue artillery, I suppose. Or maybe get a district. Which one? Industrial district? How are amenities? Zero amenities. 11 out of 13 housing. The city will grow in 10 turns. Let's just keep getting units. So, artillery. Or a tank. How long to get a tank? Oh yeah, we can't actually recruit a tank in this city. We need one more oil. We can get one more oil, we just need a builder in one of these cities to improve the oil. I guess we could just recruit a builder and send him that way. Sure, why not? Alright, carry on then. Anything else? The military engineer. And let's move the general. Shall we? Unlink first. And we'll move him over. We are also level. He's going to be slightly more useful in this area. Just a little bit. And you need to repair. So we'll do that. Anything else we can attack with? No, not really. We used everything. Except the helicopter, but I'm not moving in with that just yet. And remove. Then we can get a farm. Yep, this will speed up the industrial zone a little bit. But it's still going to take a while to finish that. And we'll keep battleships somewhere close to Moscow. In case something funny happens. Move the Cossack out of the way. I'll keep these units there in case we end up fighting Brazil. Which we might at some point. I don't plan to right now, but... You never know, they might declare war on us. It's a possibility. Fortify. Not sure what I'm going to do with the military engineer yet, but I guess we'll see. 
As for the builder, we got three more builds. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, we can get a seaside resort. So that's one thing. And then a lumber mill or two. Not a bad idea. The city could use some more production. Rocketry is almost done and we need to switch the Civic to something else on the next turn. And just wait for a themed museum. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get a themed museum, but we might be able to. Ignore this request. So there's Rocketry. Let's change the Civic first. So what do we want? Triple stories from great works of music. That would be useful, yes. I don't think I'll have the time to build the Spaceport District, but we can at least get started on the Space Race. As for research, nuclear fission. Yep, we'll reveal uranium on the map. And we got a great engineer, plus three amenities for this city, and plus four housing. That's not the best great engineer of all times, but that is kind of useful. Moscow is actually at minus one amenities. Can it get more food? Not really, no. Well, kind of. If I steal two tiles from our capital. But Moscow isn't going to grow much more. And our capital is already at plus eight amenities. 11 out of 15. I'm not sure if I really want that guy. But no one else is even remotely close, so if I pass, we won't get the next one in a very long time. 14 out of 12 and zero amenities. Okay, we can use the engineer on Tenochtitlan, that's not a bad idea. Recruit, and we'll move him over. Off you go then. And production in Moscow. Let's have a look. I don't think I want to waste time for entertainment district. Broadcast center, perhaps. Or we could just get more units, but I think we'll be fine as far as military goes. Anyway, do we actually have any slots? We do have one amphitheater near Moscow. And there's a great writer waiting right here. Oh yeah, he is actually literally on top of the amphitheater, but we can't pop him? Hold on, why can we not pop him? That's the amphitheater that belongs to Moscow, right? It should be. I'm not sure why I can't pop him, that's a little bit strange. Oh, now we can. All the girls well, never the mind. We, divided. we got their great work. And what about musicians? Not yet. Oh yes, we do have a broadcast center near Paris. So off you go to Paris. Transfer. All right. Anything else? What about the military engineer? We could get an airstrip somewhere over here. It's not like he has anything better to do. He doesn't. And I don't think we'll be building an airport in this area. We got this one, but that one isn't quite close. We could also get a fort, but that's useless. Even if Egypt attacks us again, we'll be able to defend ourselves just fine. All right then, seaside resort. How was our tourism anyway? We got 89 out of 209. Yeah, this game won't take too much longer, I don't think so. But we still got a few more episodes ahead of us, I think. Alright, let's do some damage to the city. Not a lot of units left defending it. It shouldn't take too long. In fact, we might be able to do it on the next turn. Possibly. And then we can peace out once we take the city. Yeah. I think we can do it on the next turn, with the helicopter. Sounds good to me. Oh yeah, and the general is here. Alright, next. 
Declaration of war. City states declared war on each other. All right. They think we're a warmonger. Thanks for the news. I never heard that one before. France completed research on military science. Good for them. It's not going to help them a lot. And we got inspiration for nuclear program. Sounds good. Oh yeah, also, hold on. We shouldn't be building the broadcast center in here. We should be building an archaeologist. The broadcast center can wait. As for our capital... Power plant? Only five turns. Let's grab the power plant. And just sleep that trader. We'll use the engineer on Tenochtitlan. So that's plus three amenities and plus four housing. That's perfect for this city, in fact. It didn't update yet. Might have to wait one turn or so. 17 out of 12 housing in here. That's kind of bad. And minus four amenities. Okay, that's actually really bad. Maybe we should get an entertainment district instead of that aerodrome. I think so, yes. How many tiles is this? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is in range. Let's grab entertainment district in that case. It will take a while, but that's fine. What are the effects of minus four? Let's have a look. Minus 30% growth. Minus 10% non for deals. That's actually not as bad as I expected it to be. Alright. What's that promotion? Oh yeah, the spy. Siphon funds. Let's check out the promotion first. Demolitions. Sabotage production as if two levels more experienced. Disrupt rocketry as if two levels more experienced. Time to complete all missions reduced by 25%. I like that one a lot. Alright, so that's that. And we got some more shots. Should we take the city right now? I think so. Do we have enough damage? This is definitely enough damage. Alright, let's grab the city. And then we can peace out or something. We can also stay at war if we really want to, but they were willing to give us a lot of crap, so we should probably just peace out, keep the city. First of all, let's check if they are willing to give us the city. Use city bombardment first. And let's have a chat with China. Will they give us the city? Yes, they will. All right. Let's peace out then. Will they give us more cities? Yeah, they actually will. Hold on. Which city is which? Yeah, we could maybe grab one more city, because why the heck not? It actually has a wonder. The Great Lighthouse. Yeah, sure. Why the heck not? Let's grab that one, though. This one. And the artifacts? Okay, we can only get one. And can we get some gold? Yeah, we can. Maybe not that much. 20 gold per turn. 30. 50. Yeah, that's actually a lot of gold. 60. 80. Now that's too much. 65. Okay, 60 gold per turn is just fine. That is a pretty good deal. Yes, we are grateful. You better be. Establish embassy. And that's GG, as far as China goes anyway. If they ever become a problem, we can easily take Beijing. But it won't be necessary. They are pretty much irrelevant. We are at 94 tourists. Alright, what about our newest city? Let's have a look. So many unimproved tiles. I guess we should get a builder then. Nine turns. We could grab a water mill first. We could just buy a builder, because why the heck not? Sure. It's not exactly cheap, but whatever. 
we have the gold and repair all that crap. So, military engineer. I'll use him for something. We can get a fort or whatever. Alright. Sleep. I think we should upgrade the ironclad. Oh, Samaria actually has submarines. Good for them. There's the destroyer. That's actually our first destroyer, I believe. Upgrade the pikemen. Pick up the promotion first. And we had more ironclads. We had one more somewhere. Where is it? Oh yeah, we have several more, like three more. All right. No problem, we'll upgrade them. Not that we really need them upgraded, but we can do it, so why the heck not? And upgrade the pikemen to 80 crew. And that's all our gold for now. Sleep. And sleep. So we don't really have to go to war with anyone. At this point, we could just basically wait to win. Which shouldn't take too long. We'll see. I might start some more, you know, just for fun and because I can. What do you want? Let you won't give us a luxury, so I'm not interested. We could declare war on Egypt, for example. Because they dared to declare war on us. Or on Arabia. Arabia is pretty close and they are doing okay-ish. Relatively to other AIs, at least. And they have some really crappy units still. AI is so bad at maintaining an up-to-date military. Another great person. That is a great artist. I don't think we have the slots for that. But hey, we got a great artist, because why not? Yeah, we don't have the slots for that. You will have to wait and chill. In case we decide to build a museum. Another promotion for the helicopter. I'll take that. There we go. Enemy spy sabotaged production. That's not very nice. In Novgorod. Seriously? Yes, seriously. Alright, fine. Doesn't matter. Sleep the artist. And that's that. Move into the city. Yes, fortify. I like how China doesn't hate us anymore. Even though we took two of their cities. So they hate us less than they did before the war. Seems legit. As for the spy, I guess we could move him to Novgorod. Or we could just move him to a different city somewhere. We could spy on Arabia. Because why not? Sure, let's spy on Arabia. That's a lot of cities. Oh, they actually have a spaceport, really? Apparently they do. Okay then. Which era are they in exactly? And what is their tech count? We got 57 techs. And Arabia has 43. We are so far ahead. That had to be some really aggressive beelining. Yeah, they are in atomic era. While being, what, 13 techs behind us? 14 tanks behind us. That probably explains some of their outdated units. They just beelined for some really specific tech very aggressively and ignored everything else, including the military techs. That would make their military not suck. Alright, seaside resort. We are getting 852 tourism. And we aren't even using any policies that would give us extra tourism at the moment. Because we don't have any. At least, not yet. We'll have some soon. But not yet. Alright, carry on. We got two more builds. We'll just get another seaside resort. Like so. And this guy. Four builds. Oh yeah, we could send him to our newest city. It's pretty much right there. 
shore. In fact, our border is almost connected. That's nice. And more seaside resorts. Let's just spam them everywhere we can. Especially with Crystal Redentor. There's no reason not to. Move these guys a little bit closer. That will do. Alright, good enough. Fortify. As for the bomber, just stay there. Yep, stay where you are. So this game is pretty much done. Finishing it will be a pure formality. Not that it wasn't a formality for the last few episodes, but now that we took care of China, yeah, none of the AIs are really relevant anymore. Arabia can try, but it's not going to succeed. Not when they are so many techs behind. Factory. And let's see. Entertainment complex. We are at zero amenities. So let's maybe grab that. That will be helpful. Repair the monument. And more seaside resorts. Nope, we can't get more. We'll just get a few farms in this area then. Sounds good. Yes, fortify. And stay there. We could upgrade a few more units. One more seaside resort. We are making 160 gold per turn. Might as well upgrade everything we got. And we do have professional army policy active. Can't see it through all this spam at the moment, but it's there. Yeah, right here. What happened? Not a whole lot. Our spy finished his job. Or her job in this case. Okay then. Still tech boost, 63%. That is pretty good. Let's give that a shot, because why the heck not? And production. So where? No, we don't need that market. Because I like gold. Let's get a fort. Why the heck not? And we can move the Cossack there. Another seaside resort, that's 916 tourism. Before any boosts. That's pretty good, I would say. Any more seaside resorts? No. Looks like that's about it. Okay, more farms in that case. Like so. This is quite a few workers. Hey, I'm improving the tiles. China didn't bother to improve. Will you give me a luxury? No. Well, I'm not interested then. That is not a fair trade. He wants his spy back. But he doesn't have anything that I would be interested in. He won't give us a relic. And I'm not giving you that crap. How much gold would he pay us? Probably not a lot. Okay, not all of his gold, that's for sure. 300, that's not terrible. 400. Sure, you can have your spy back. Then we can just capture him again. Probably. Arabia has been targeted for a declaration of war by a city-state. Novgorod. It will grow in 102 turns. Yeah, the game will be long over by then. But 12 population is decent. Power plant? Or anything else? Broadway, 63 turns. Yeah, that's clearly not going to happen. At least not in this city. What's our capital doing? Finishing a power plant. We could try to get one more wonder. Because why not? Theater Square? Plus one, but I would have to remove the mine. And I don't want to. Let's get the theater square. Especially with all these great people that we have on standby. Waiting to be useful. 25 turns. 
not a super useful wonder in this city. Tank, aircraft carrier, we don't really need that all that much. A trader, hold on, we do have one trader on standby right here. So make trader out. Let's speed up the entertainment complex a bit. Or can we actually do that? Not really, plus one production, that's not super useful. Move over to a different city. And we'll queue up a trader. We can get up to 15 right now. There's the tank that we finished. Might as well keep it right here. As for the builder, the goal here was to improve the oil. Right here. It will take him a few turns to arrive, but that's okay. We got one more build, exactly. We can grab the lumber mill to get some more production for the city. Upgrade. Might as well upgrade them both. Upgrade to machine gun? No, because that will reduce range. Let's not do that. More farms. Because clearly we lack food, apparently. And the spy in Cairo. Disrupt rocketry, 74%. Yep, let's do that. Sounds like a plan. So, how is our tourism now? We are more than halfway. Not interested. Yes, that is unfortunate. So, I'm not going to wait to build a spaceport district. We'll just finish space race. Also, I hope we have some uranium, because I'd like to nuke someone race, before this game ends. Is make the yes, we do. Right next to our capital, apparently. Or was it that? Yes, we discovered a source of uranium. Right here. Which tile is it on? I can't actually see. And now I can move my camera. There we go. I can't see which exact tile the game is showing me. This one. Is there uranium here? Yep, there's uranium here. All right. We got one. That's all we needed. What's next? Let's have a look. We could just work towards nuclear fusion. In case we get a chance to use thermonuclear nuke. Yeah, so lasers first. Sure, lasers. That's only six turns. Sounds good to me. And production in our capital. Let's grab that airport, perhaps. Not that we need to airlift anymore, but we'll get the airport anyway. Just in case we'll need it at some point. Let's see. Anything useful we can get in here? Not a whole lot. I don't want to remove any of the mines. I like the production. We can grab the shipyard. More production? 17. Yeah, that's not a whole lot more. Let's just start an industrial zone. Somewhere over here. It's not going to be amazing. But I guess it will do. Sure, it will do. And the trader. So, speed up. Production. Plus 6 food, plus 5 production. Yep, I like that. Off you go. How many turns now? 9 turns to finish the zoo. That will help amenities. In all three cities in the area. Fortify. And fortify. How do you fortify with the helicopters? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. But somehow you do. And the spy. We can siphon funds. Oh, they are actually having some barbarian problems. Alright. Let's siphon some funds. Why not? And actually, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.